On the shores of the Great Interior Seaway, a herd of Triceratops are relaxing. It is currently at the end of the Cretaceous period. The vegetation is beginning to resemble that of the modern day. Their beaks allow them to break off and devour branches and vegetation, however they are not as effective for grazing. Keratina scoots are upon their back. They offer some protection from predation, but it is more effective against mosquitoes than Tyrannosaurus. In this area, there are two different species of Triceratops, the Triceratops porosus and the Triceratops horridus. They are distinguished by their horn shapes. Further inland, there is a large river delta. Along the banks of the delta, Edmontosaurus is resting. This section of the riverbank is open and in the hot sun, without vegetation covering the ground. Further away from the riverbank, a herd of Triceratops porosus enjoys the shade of numerous angiosperm and coniferous plants. The angiosperms or flowering plants are already common by this point in time. Elsewhere the trees clear out for an open plain environment. Out in the sun, a herd of Edmontosaurus lies lazily.
A type of smaller ornithopod, the Theoscolosaurus, is browsing around the titanic hadrosaurs. Unlike in the Ceratopsians, the grinding teeth batteries of the hadrosaurs make short work of the fibrous vegetation. The Ceratopsians and the Hadrosaurs can still exist side by side peacefully. Small pools have formed in the forest as a result of the wet season rains. Here the Fiascolosaurus and Triceratops drink together. Elsewhere in the other direction, towards the coast, the swamp waterways and channels are winding through the swampy forest. The smaller animals, like the Fiascolosaurus, are better at home on the steeper hills than the larger animals in this area. Elsewhere, the king of the dinosaurs observes the plains. While a capable and powerful hunter in their own right, the Tyrannosaurus is also capable of eating meat from dead carcasses that had died days ago and had started to rot.
The T-Rex, however, is not hungry at the moment, having eaten enough meat to last several days previously. Territory patrolling is one of the activities that the Tyrannosaurus undertakes when full and not hungry. The Tyrannosaurus requires between 60 and 90 kilograms of raw meat every day, even more if he has not eaten in a while. Despite not being on the hunt, the herbivores still do well to keep their eyes upon him. Once he has passed, the herbivores can once again relax, confident in the absence of other predators for the time being. The open beach can provide a road to allow them to travel to other fresh feeding grounds elsewhere.
Next time, we will be leaving the Mesozoic behind, and in the season finale, visit the Ice Age, which is a geological blink of an eye before the present.